CJ Pony Parts has been in business for over 35 years, and during that time, both the Mustang itself and the Mustang hobby have greatly changed. Now, back in the early days of CJ's, Mustang customers were looking for a restoration. Sure, they might add some GT wheels or lower the car, maybe put a four barrel on a two barrel car, but for the most part, their goal was to build a car exactly like it came off the assembly line at Ford. Now, over the years, as technology has changed, well, so is a lot of people's goals for their restorations. Now, while there are a lot of customers these days that still want that classic original style restoration, more and more owners are going for the resto mod, like our 65 Fastback behind us. Now, the resto mod is gonna take modern suspension, better interior amenities, and most importantly to me, modern power plants, and stick them into the classic Mustang. So today, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna give you all the basics necessary if you wanna put a Coyote engine into your classic Mustang. The first thing we're gonna discuss is why you would want a Coyote and what the Coyote engine actually is. Now, the Coyote engine is a dual overhead cam V8 engine that's found in your 2011 through 2020 Mustang GT and also found in the F-150. Now, the lowest horsepower version of the Coyote is still gonna make 360 horsepower with the highest horsepower being 460 horsepower in a stock form. Now, the reason you wanna do that is ease of power. I mean, a Coyote makes great power from the factory and it's easy to add even more horsepower. Now, can you make a push rod engine that'll make similar horsepower to those numbers? You absolutely can, but a Coyote can even do it on 87 octane. We're making 400 plus out of a push rod. We usually require a much better fuel and a much rowdier engine, which again, part of the desire of the Coyote. Now, if you go the supercharged route, like we do with our 65 here, 600 to 700 horsepower is very easily attainable and very streetable, which makes the Coyote a very desirable engine swap. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna discuss the different Coyote engines available. We're also gonna discuss transmission options, and then all the other pieces you're gonna need to stick one in your 65 through 70 Mustang. When it comes time to shop for a Coyote engine for your classic Mustang, you're gonna get a new engine or a used engine, and then there's gonna be three generations of Coyote engines and a couple different versions as well. You're gonna have your Mustang engine and your F-150 engine. Now, the F-150 engine was designed more for towing than performance, so it's a little bit less compression, different cams, slightly smaller oil pump gears, and make a little bit less horsepower. Now shown here is your generation one Coyote. In Mustang trim, the generation one's gonna make 412 horsepower, and the F-150 version will make 360. Now your 2015 through 2017 Mustang is gonna have a generation two Coyote, which is very, very popular right now for swaps. Now your gen two Coyote, is gonna have 435 horsepower in the Mustang version and 385 horsepower in the F-150. Now this is gonna be your gen three Coyote found in your 2018 through 2020 Mustang. Now this is gonna make 460 horsepower in the Mustang version and 395 horsepower in your F-150. Now whether you use a gen one, gen two, or gen three, Depending on front suspension, you should plan on having to swap out the oil pan for a correct one for a Coyote swap. So you picked your engine, now it's time to pick a transmission. Well, the Coyote shares architecture with Ford's modular engine family. What that means is any trains you can put behind a mod motor will fit behind a Coyote. That means T5, T45, T3650, any of the Tremec transmissions, TKO500, TKO600, MT82, T56, all those manual transmissions will work with your Coyote swap. Also for the automatics, a 4R70W, a 6R80, and even the 10-speed 10R80 will all work in your classic Mustang. Just assume that, again, with the automatics and larger six-speed manuals, you will have to modify the tunnel, you will need a custom drive shaft, and normally you're gonna get a universal trans mount and have to make your own cross member. All right, so you figured out what engine you wanna go with, you figured out what transmission you wanna go with, now you gotta figure out how to actually wire it to make it work in your classic Mustang. But there's two ideas there as far as how it can work. First one is if you're using a donor car for the motor, transmission, whatever, you can use the factory wiring harness and computer out of a modern Mustang. The challenge there is that computer and harness controls a whole lot of things that aren't gonna be in your classic Mustang, which means a lot of extra wires you gotta figure out what to do with. The easier way to do it is the Ford Performance Control Pack, specifically designed for Coyote swaps. Now, control packs are gonna be available for your 11 through 14 manual transmission, also available for the 15 through 17 manual or auto, as well as the 2018 manual or auto. Now those control packs are gonna make the installation very, very simple. You're gonna connect it to your engine. Then you're gonna basically hook it up to switched power, ground, connect your fuel pump, connect your fan, and literally you're almost ready to start the car. One more benefit of the control pack is it will include intake parts necessary for a Coyote engine, and it'll also include the gas pedal. Now these cars are throttled by wire, so you will need a custom gas pedal to make it work. Your control pack is going to include that. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You've got your motor picked out, you figured out your transmission, you got your wiring control pack figured out. Now how do you take the engine from the stand and actually put it into your classic Mustang? There's a bunch of ways to do this. 
First thing you wanna get it though, is you're gonna to have to change your front suspension. You're gonna to have to do a custom front suspension, not only to support the Coyote, but also to make it fit properly. Now, in most cases, the shock towers are gonna to go bye-bye and you go with some sort of a custom subframe or Mustang two-style suspension. And we have kits available here from Total Control Products, Rod and Custom, and AJE, that'll give you everything you need for your front suspension. Now, there are ways to do it with maybe trimming the towers, but in most cases, removing the towers completely will make the installation go a lot smoother. The next thing you have to consider, and actually can be a little bit tricky for an amateur installer, is the transmission tunnel. Now, with certain transmissions like the T5, you don't have to make any modifications to the tunnel. But if you want to put a T56 in, any of the automatics, or even a bunch of the TKOs, you will have to modify your tunnel. Basically, what's going to happen is the transmission is going to sit higher on the engine than your factory setup would. So you have to usually cut the top of the tunnel and then widen it a little bit so you have clearance for your transmission. Now we're gonna discuss all the other pieces under the hood you need to make the Coyote engine swap work. We're gonna start with headers. Now the factory headers on the Mustang engines will actually work with many applications on your classic Mustang, but the cast iron manifolds on the truck engines absolutely will not. Either way, a good set of aftermarket headers is a much better way to go, especially if you wanna make some more horsepower. Now when it comes to Coyote headers, there's tons of options available, but you do wanna use a swap header. The swap headers will be specific for the early chassis, and it'll be a much, much better fit overall. Now when it comes to brakes, steering, air conditioning, again, there's a lot of stuff to consider there as well. Now your factory Coyotes are gonna be electronic steering. They have electric racks, which isn't really gonna be an option to put onto your classic Mustang. Now in our case, we actually went with electric steering, but in our case, it's assisted electric underneath the dashboard. So basically what it does is it attaches to our column and it allows us to make our manual rack and pinion into a power assist setup. The other option, which is very popular, is gonna be Hydro Boost. Now, there's a couple of different companies that make Hydro Boost setups. March has one and some other manufacturers do as well. What that's gonna allow you to do though, is use the stuff from like the 96 to 04 Mustang, where you're gonna have a Hydro Boost pump that'll do both your steering and your brakes. Now in our case, we did go with the electric power steering, but we're using manual brakes. As you can see, we have a remote mount Willwood setup, which works great with our bare brakes. But if you do want power brakes and power steering, Hydro Boost is probably the way to go. The other option some people use is the Volvo pump, which is an electric power steering pump, which again, you can use on a manual style rack. And like I mentioned, when it comes to accessories, March makes a kit for the front of the engine that will allow power steering, air conditioning. We're actually running an aftermarket air conditioning kit on our car here, and it absolutely works great. The other thing to consider with the front of the engine is gonna be cooling. Now you do wanna have a decent radiator because of the power the Coyote motor makes. Now in our case, we're running a 2013 Boss 302 radiator and just moved it a little bit forward into the factory radiator sport and we're able to make it work. Normal large radiators will probably not fit with all the accessories. So again, you wanna make sure you kind of adjust for the space and make sure you have enough room for everything you wanna run on the front of your Coyote engine. Now once you have the engine in the car, now you gotta figure out how to provide fuel. Now your factory fuel system isn't gonna cut it as the Coyote requires 58 pounds of consistent fuel pressure. So again, plan on a custom tank, fuel lines, a fuel pump, and a fuel pressure regulator. We have complete kits available here at TJ Pony Parts. Now obviously the Coyote swap is not for everybody. People are gonna ask, what is it gonna cost to do this? I can't even give you a cost. There's so many variables of what you need to actually put that engine into your car. So you have to basically figure out what you wanna do and put the cost together on your own. I can tell you this, even a bare bone setup, you're gonna be about 10,000 and up. So consider that when you're gonna to look to do this swap. But obviously the benefit of the swap, easy horsepower, tons more availability, and also the cool factor of having a Coyote in your classic Mustang. Now, like I said, there's a lot more to do as far as little things you're gonna to need to do the swap. So again, use this video as a good starting point to get the basics in your head, and hopefully you wanna do a Coyote swap in your classic Mustang.